Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 survival roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul. And here we are doing the incredibly important job of trying to get Scarlet and our favorite Travis to go and hang out. But unfortunately, we have stuck in this cycle of no food. Come on! <laughs> It's not even getting around the plate. Ah! Alright, back on my discussion of love. We were talking about this a little bit in the last episode when we had the guy who wanted to friggin' like, who shot the dude in the bar. That was terrible. Hey, dude. Do all you outside of wear such funny clothes? Well, I think, uh, I'm an exception. <laughs> uh, but he shot the dude, and it's like, no! It, it doesn't work out. That's all that is. It just didn't work out. You separate and now this kid hasn't, you know, like, it's just this terrible situation. And in the case of this, this is matchmaking. This is okay. Like, he, like, apparently they've been looking at each other going, hey, maybe you guys would be an item. You should try it. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Hey, maybe, uh... Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah! Kinda... Oh, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Is it clear... Bribe? Jesus Christ! Look. Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just I'm the master of love, okay, you can tell. I I'll go see him now. Thanks. See? That's cute. That's okay. That's kind of adorable. You know, they're trying to meet up. Both of them are kind of shy. And, uh, I mean, Travis was super shy. So it's like, I mean, you don't always want to push people, obviously. But I feel like... need a haircut. Talk to John at the super salon. This pompadour is beautiful. So, I like, that one, for me personally, I think it's okay. You gotta understand your place, right? Like, you don't want to be pushing people who don't point? want to be together. But being matchmaker can be kind of cute, you know, kind of fun. But, uh, don't, don't be like the last guy who... Duh. And also, no fighting to make people feel confident unless it's, like, you know, in a ring and it's safe. Because th fights can go really wrong. They can afford hey, Yafim. Hey, this is... Terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I, I hope do this it. isn't Travis. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money. That they had a deal. Yeah. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed them and said that they would make Vadim. him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. What's with all these people? Like, I'll bring him back, you think? Yeah. Count on it. Please just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Someone has to Dr. stay Pats. here? Maybe he knows where they took him. Why would Travis know? And second, why do you have to stay? Your brother is in dire needs. You don't think that the people in Diamond City? Shh. The people in Diamond City wouldn't respect the fact that your brother was kidnapped? Seriously, dude, your, uh, your priorities are a little messed up. Why didn't Vadim even pay them? He said he was going to pay people to give him... Damn it, to give those people an option, you know, to take the dive. Why are people not... Ah! Seriously, it's, it's kind of suspect to me that the brother, like, isn't immediately rushing it. Like, close down the bar, dude. And second, why try... Why not the guards? Hey, officer. Nothing to see here. Why, why not the guards go out and find them? You know, <laughs> kind of thing. Like, jeez. I, I feel like he's a part of Diamond City and they'd protect their own, right? But no, maybe Travis knows. Hey there. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. 
oh man, wow, is this, this is because of what happened, isn't it? It's, it's my fault. Dude, that actor who plays Travis? Props on that voice acting, that was really nice. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. It's gonna be it's dangerous. It's probably gonna be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not, I, I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brew. How do you know that? We gotta go in there, show them we mean business. Oh, and, wait. And then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. You would be the last person I want to come I'm along. I'm on a break right now. Oh, Scarlet, hi! Oh. Oh, I am so <laughs> sorry. I should have knocked when I came in. Um, yeah, that would be, he'd be the last guy I'd want to bring. I gotta, I gotta get my stuff together. And I'll meet you there. And I don't mean that because he's, like, not brave enough, but I mean because someone who's unskilled, who's like, I don't even own a gun, is the last person I want in a firefight with me. He might shoot me, himself, he might draw attention when attention shouldn't be drawn, like, I don't want him to just get killed, I think it would actually work better in my favor now if he slaughter. wasn't there. That's a real weapon. Talk to Guys, I have guns, He'll seriously, it's, it's the future. We have plasma shooting guns. Also, I know it's an RPG, so it works out that way. My friends say outside is smell. But you don't smell at all. That kid who just said I don't smell at all? Thank you, child. I appreciate that. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's hold up. How much stuff do I have on me? I'm really deciding if I want to keep this. I mean, I can put it on to get extra weight, you know? Like, that could help, but it's not going to be better than this, really. I don't think ever, so. Goodbye, leg that can't be turned into a left one, which should so easily be turned into a left one. Goodbye, luck. I would wear you for charisma checks, but really it doesn't matter. Antibiotics. Oh, so good to find that. So I was selling more purified water, but honestly, I think it makes sense to be selling Radax and Radaway. For one, we don't need Radax at all. Our character just doesn't need it. I really want to get the gun that uses the railway spike. I've never seen it. I know it's somewhere out there. I'm sure it's the railway rifle, probably. I don't know, but I look forward to it one day. Okay, I think we're good now. Fully fed, slept, uh, so liquefied. What the hell is the word for if I'm not thirsty anymore? That's something that I, I think I'm gonna look up after I film this. Why do I feel ill with a weakness? Seriously, I just, why? why? Okay, back to the doctor, God. Survival mode, dudes. I wonder if that just happened because our, my character has is running around the rain. So I wonder if like rain has an effect to cause that. That would be a pretty cool is a thing, actually. If, oh my god, he has two antibiotics. <laughs> I love glitches where you push people off of things accidentally. Travis, I don't think it's a good idea to have you go there, dude. I think it's a really bad one. I mean, seriously, like, he might shoot me, he might shoot himself. He doesn't have the experience of being a fighter. Like, oh, I keep messing up the glasses. I mean, you wouldn't want to bring someone into a military engagement if they didn't have the, qual you know, enough training. Sometimes, you know, you don't have a choice. And I guess in Fallout 4, debatably, we don't have a choice. But he just was like, I need to buy a gun. Or get a gun. And I was just like, ugh, that's a, not a very comforting start, if you ask me. Now, I just realized something. Ooh, there's a building to hit. I just realized something that I'm kind of scared about. Which was, my character, if I die on the road, I, like, those antibiotics that I bought might not be there at the doctor. So, that's uh, something I hope we uh, don't run into a problem right th like that. Just want to see what that building is. Alright, you know what? Let's... I guess I can go this way. Are there going to be any more super mutants? Doesn't look like it. That looks exactly like a super mutant up there. That is a super mutant. Is it dead? <laughs> What's that? 
That one's not dead. You can tell. Pretty alive with the whole walking thing. I missed. Not too dangerous of a creature. Loving the helmet. It's like a legionnaire helmet. And now I'm hidden again. I, I wish I could pick, like, take off more of their armor and use it. Oh, God. Oh, that is gross. They macheted off his skin. Or her skin. Oh. Ew. I know that they eat people. I eat people. But just. Ugh. Oh, great. Now we're going upstairs. I didn't mean to do this, but now I'm really curious. We don't. The brackets aren't wiggling or anything. So that would indicate that nobody's here. Wow, they're just all dead in a corner. Jeez. That's odd. Okay. Um, ooh. I was hoping for antibiotics. That would have been sick. Okay, well, this is kind of an interesting environment. So is just this, like, a dead? Who's there? Oh, very clearly found now. Turning off the light to maintain secret is secret. Nobody in the bathroom. No fight today. Man, there's a lot of people who are just getting killed generally. Annoyed. A bucket head. Bucket head. Okay, so he's probably through that way. I bet if I go through this, I'll end up on the top of the restaurant, which is where I wanted to get to anyway. Okay, so it looks like we are... Yeah, this is exactly where I wanted to get to. This is perfect. Sweet. Okay, so... He's dead. He's just... What's wrong with his face? Poor guy. An explosive box. That's sick to find. I'll take all that. Oh, hey! We leveled up with that, too. That's pretty cool. If I... I can't bap him off or anything. Alright, well. Carry on, good sir. Hopefully, once again, I don't find myself... Oh, I just jumped to that lamp. Oh, I was ninja. Oh, hey, you jerks. Can't stop me up here, can you? Nah, you just... And you're dead. And that person is dead. Are they gonna try to find a way up here? Now that's something that I'm very curious about game design-wise. Like, they can create pathing to find their way here. But it's hard to program AI that, like, struggles to get up here. You know, that is... It has to figure itself out. It has to jump around. It has to, like... And I don't like the fact that sometimes just having a simple ledge is enough to keep something from attacking you. You guys coming? Huh? Huh, doggy dogs? Nope, it's still a little bit of a way. Wow, this one was in the couch and then it fell down. Oh, because a truck ran into it. That's terrifying. Got another one. All right, let's find that last one because I, I'd like to collect some of the meat. I mean, mutt chops? I can still get meat from the dog. Mutt chops, super useful. I thought it said a corn pipe revolver pistol, and I was like, what is a corn pipe revolver pistol? I'm so excited. It's it's a pipe revolver pistol. Not what I wanted. Oh, there's the dog. Hey, doggy. Bink. Bink. I guess I might as well have used a critical, because I probably would have been able to grind one up pretty quickly. I mean, this gun criticals so quickly, so it's not that much of a problem. Now, where are we? All right, we're making our way to the Beantown Brewery. We can save at Oberlin Station. That's going to be perfect. All right. All trains. Subway Station. Okay. I, I, I'm a little confused because I feel like I, I haven't actually really spent a lot of time in this part of Boston, I don't think. But I might have just like right there. Yeah, we walked on that road on the way back from, not from Diamond City, but from Bunker Hill. And then we walked on this road, yes, when we were on our way to Diamond City first. Okay, so I have been around here. We killed those ghouls. Do these ghouls just keep coming back? Okay, this is actually going to be pretty tough. This is actually going to be kind of tough. There is a lot of them there. Alright, uh, let's see if we can take out Mr. Donahue really quick. Oh my god, it's quiet. Okay, um, 40% chance. 66, a little higher before I take that next shot. Okay, two shots, two shots. No, that doesn't matter as much. That's a 75, okay. Oh, I missed that. 
Okay. Okay. Just quietly taking these little shots. You're good. It's going to give you a critical. And you get two shots. Critical for you to make sure you die. Alright, you're not dead yet, but we were able to slow you down. Oh my god, we handled that expertly. We've killed these dudes before, though. That, that's what surprises me. We've actually killed these guys before. Unless I died? I mean, it's totally possible I died at some point during the process. But I feel like... I, I get, Do they just, like... Keep coming back? I don't... I don't know, like... I did make the comment that I haven't really walked through here quite the same way. Uh, you know, this is this dude. What's up, dude? That was so cool. A little pink, 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 pink. It was so easy to shoot. So calm. It was quiet. That was not quiet. Miss Rosa, you were my favorite. I remember saying that joke. I know I killed her. It must have been. It. We must have died. Eve had to have died. Because I don't think the game actually re like respawns those guys it might i don't know and i don't know what this little house is up here but we're going to it because i'm now curious what this is i don't see anybody in it oh it's it's a little like just store and ooh, melon planter i'll take some melons and some carrots it's pretty sick i hear it sounds like bugs but it might be just the cooking stove day tripper that's a rare cam to find a lot of other stuff here too it sounds like there's bugs back there. Or are bugs. Dude, look at that animation in the background with the machete and he just dumps it in the pot. That's kind of gross, actually, but... Alright, that's something. Good for you, man. Alright, let's see what's behind the door. Alright, it sounds like bugs. It's... Is that just the rain? So this guy made drugs off of all these things. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why is it stealing a bag of fertilizer here? I mean, fertilizer so that I can make grenades and stuff, right? Like, fertilizer, fertilizer, or this, oh, cryogenic doesn't require fertilizer, but our frag grenade does. So they have a ton of fertilizer because they're making bombs and things. But I actually, I would love to make Molotovs because they are sick, but we haven't picked up any oil really from here. So this guy made bombs and this guy, or guy? This, I guess it looks like a woman. This woman... Made bombs, she made different drugs. We can level up, I totally forgot about that. Guess what's available? 30% less damage, and we have 50 more pounds of carrying weight. Oh man, that is huge. Our character is going to take names and kick asses and just do amazing when we get back to doing the thing with the radiation gun. I mean, we are so much stronger we have much better weapons. We have so much more resources. I mean, we are going... No, okay, real quick, sidelining. What is this blue? You see it reflecting? Off the car, off a lot of things. It's And it's not necessarily the lighting. It's just... I just don't know what that blue is. Anyway, we're almost to the Oberlin Station. Uh, Bean Town is coming up. It's within 100 meters, so I'm going to veer a little to the left to find the station so we can just do a quick drop save. We could even take a nap there. I mean, it is a place where we're happily involved, so they will let us do it. Oh, that'll be perfect. Hello, everyone. That's the Beantown Brewery. Where's the station? Oh, I just passed it. There we go. Frequency found. Hey, everybody. Gonna do a quick save drop and probably pop some water. Oh, I was just parched a second ago. I really didn't need to pop the water then. There we go, quick save. Nothing big, just a little bit. Get some purified water. All right, there we go. Oh, oh it's that dog, the alpha wild mo Let's leave that guy alone. Let's, we don't have to mess with him. He's been pretty much nice enough to not kill us. Live and let live is the way that we're gonna let that dog exist. Also, we're about to kill a bunch of people. Also, I think Travis is a bad idea to take in on this. It's just, he doesn't make sense to me as a plan. It just does not. You know, dude, like, you just don't have the training. Maybe you should wear a metal oh bucket. God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? 
Well, stay cool is all I can really say. Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. 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 Any, uh... Any last minute advice? I've never done anything like this. I would tell him to stay behind me, but he might shoot me, so I'm gonna go with stay Just calm. Stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Calm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? Uh, now, I have a note about Travis that I think is important to keep in mind. Which is in the case of Travis, who's carrying a revolver, so at least he's got something that can do some hard hits. You're gonna s Travis? You need to sneak with me. Tra- This is why I didn't want somebody like this. He's also screwing up if I'm detected or not. Or a hidden or whatnot. Alright, they got a Jangles in there. So let's be very careful to not set off jangles. Careful. We got a Raider Psycho. Travis, do not, I repeat, do not flip out and start trying to shoot this guy. He is for me to kill only. Okay? It looks like I will kill him pretty much with every shot. So we're going to go into the right leg. How did... I missed the leg. Okay, anybody else? No, we seem good. So, that thing was totally, oh my god, they stacked up the bottles, that's really cool. So, Travis coming here, I gotta say, although it's like, I'm all like, Travis, this is the most stupid thing for you to do, don't do this. I really like the characterization that they did with Travis, where he is a scared guy, but the reason why he's coming here is because he's trying to help his friend. He's like, I don't have a lot of friends. I need to help him. That is what true bravery is. You know? There's just two words about brewery stuff. That's interesting. Oh my god, what was that? Was that a Radroach blowing up a mine? Thank you, Radroach. And it, oh, they're bowling! That's wicked. That's really cool. I like that. Anyway. Oh god, Travis, don't run up there. Okay? Dude. All right, well, anyway, he is a good person for trying to help his friend. That's what true bravery is. That is what makes him a special, cool dude. It's not the fact that he got into a bar fight and that's what made him confident. No, it was this thing that he cares about his friend. And even though he's scared and he can't do anything, he's willing to try. It's stupid. It is also brave. It is something that I respect in that character. Once again, I'd be like, you can help. But I don't think it's a good idea for you to bring a gun and follow me in here because I, as we saw, it's like he just walked in and I'm like, I need to snipe with quietness, dude. You're not helping. So anyway, dudes, that's my opinion on some of those things. We're going to continue with Travis after this. And so, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the grand rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Now, dudes, see you later. Bye.